What's up, guys? We're heading to Matagorda for our recovery. Um, there's a G wagon that's stuck over on the Bay Shore, uh, taking the Gladiator. We got Michael swinging the camera for us. Um, What's up? Got my one of our William, one of our uh, the B Corps volunteers with us. My buddies Tim and Zian, they're gonna be helping us run rigging and stuff. So we're uh, heading that way. We'll be over there shortly. Guys, so we're coming on to the beach now. The uh, we're he's showing it. The GPS is pretty wrong, but it's showing 1.3 miles. It's uh, looks like the tide's pretty high right now. Oh wow! That's uh, salt water or rain water since we've had like basically 24 hours of just like a steady soaking rain. So that's probably just rain water collection. Yeah. Um, normally this is like just miles of really really soft sand so we'll probably have to throw it in full wheel drive here pretty quick um, but we're uh, headed that way we'll be there shortly we still got wheel behind us yeah wheels back there behind us so we'll over these dunes all right guys we're in the general area We're gonna check over these dunes right, right here. According to the tent, he should be right over here. Make sure y'all are watching for rattlesnakes. It's kind of chilly. They yep. won't be too quick, but they're still gonna be out. He should be like right over here. Watch for snakes, y'all. I told him to turn his flashers on. Hey, there he is. See it? Yeah. There he is. Way over there. See him in the distance? Look to the right. Way down there. See his hazard? Oh, way over there. The pin was way wrong. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna cruise back down the beach a little bit farther and catch up to him. He's probably about another mile down the beach. Yeah, it's still we're gonna have to go in at three mile cut. So we're gonna be taking this cut up into the dunes here. Into a lower gear. Making our way through this trail here. I don't think the mosquitoes are bad. I don't see none. It shouldn't be too bad right now. It's kind of chilly. Yeah. A little bit muddy from the rain we've had. There's the G Wagon. We're going after a G Wagon if we haven't said already. brought a Mercedes G-Wagon out here. Yeah. Uh, we might have to... There might be a trail right there on the other side of the... I think we might have to go back. We might have to go back and cut it. Right, we're gonna have to get a little muddy. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that... Uh, trail right there I'm just gonna straddle these ruts here we should be fine but there's a few surprise holes back here they're pretty deep but these 43 inch Mickey Thompson should uh, get us through here pretty yeah, pretty stuff easy look too bad, nothing I would go right here yeah that's there's a hole over there. No, this stuff ain't that bad. Nah, it's just... Mo 
mostly water, you know. Then, I think you need to go this way. Yeah. Go to the right. We're almost to the G-Wagon. Let me drive over there. All right, guys, we made it over to the G-Wagon. How's it going? I'm good. No, that's part of the, oh, well, this? Yeah, that little, just the cap. Yeah. <sighs> Hang on to that. We need to use the pinch for recovery points. I don't have a. Uh, I've got it. I don't have a tow ball. I've got it. I got a shackle hitch. I'll put it in. That's no big deal. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 framed pretty, out. It's pretty buried. Yeah. It's like, well, so we're gonna go ahead and hook up the. You gonna winch them? Yeah, it'll probably be best to winch them. I don't think that's really a kinetic recovery here. I mean, we could probably just pop him out, but there's not enough running, not enough room. I'm not, I don't want to run off into that, find a soft spot, you know. Uh, you want Will to winch with you, or do you want yeah, him to anchor? Or? We can we can set up next to each other. And yeah. We'll, and then we'll see how they, if worst comes to worst, we start dragging her. So I have my chops. I can put my chops down. Worst comes to worst. We can always get somebody anchored to me, but I think the both of us and my chops, we should have more than enough pull to get it out of the Yeah, we yeah. You got a, what, 9,500 on yours? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, I'm going to swap boots real quick. That way. You want to do it back or forward? He's got, he's got the... Oh, you got one in the front, too? Well... Oh, he got hooks. I think these things come with... I'd rather go... Yeah, there's really nothing. Maybe not. There's nothing really uh, good up here. Got, yeah. Yeah, that makes us fun on here. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, you from around here? Oh, you, okay. Maybe it, maybe it isn't the one. In. Yeah. So. Swapping boots here, real quick. Yeah, it's pretty muddy back here. It's really nothing but water right now. Mud. A lot of this is just rainwater. That's it. Yeah. He's got a shackle on his. Got a shackle? Yeah. On his, so he can do the soft shackle. What do you need, Michael? No, I was just looking on the front of your winch. Seeing what you what you were using as a... Oh, yeah, I got the soft shackle on next Yeah, I got mine, too. Are you using the pulley or just something straight to it? You're going to do straight forwards? Um... I say both of y'all just try straight. I say this should just try a straight pull at first. If we need to, if we need to snatch block, we can snatch block. So we got a soft shackle. This yeah. is gonna go into the hitch. You gonna you gonna put that in there and then yeah, I got it. 
Okay. Uh, can you like me? Yes. Before I just end up ankle deep in depression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or have it. So Dustin's gonna get turned around. Dustin and Will get turned around to go ahead and start running. Hey, it's all hard right there. So you're, you're good to turn around over there. Yeah, so several hours, huh? Try to pull it. There we go. You got it, Dustin? Yeah. If you can get it somewhat close to the dry land, I'll give it a tug as well. Since you put this winch on, it's going to be the first time you used it. This is the first time I've used this one. Yeah. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Oh, my bad. No, you good. So we got two soft shackles. Got both winch lines going to it. We're going to start off with it on a, a straight pull and uh, see how it goes. Where's uh, Go ahead and uh, for now, just uh, go ahead and put it in reverse and just kind of let it idle. And uh, don't really give it any gas unless we uh, tell you otherwise. Ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna wire it <laughs> I'm gonna kind of stand over here between them. I'm gonna get on the other side here. Hello, Ram. Thank you. Right behind it. Is it? Is he about to jump in? Let me move this out of the way. Be good content, but I don't think you want that. You got it in reverse? Hey, uh, hey, uh, Tim, what do y'all want to step on my brakes? All right, have at it, Tim. <laughs> you can strip your shoes and socks if you need. Take your, take your shoes off. Yeah. So we're gonna have him get in the gladiator to hold the brakes.
Give it a little bit of gas. You're in reverse, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Keep your wheel straight. There you go. All right, let it idle. All righty. Good. Yeah, hold on. Hey, put it in neutral. Okay. We're just going to pull you back a little bit more. Say again? That's one thing coming from the old. Uh, probably the winch. You got in park? You got in park? Uh, you're good. All right, guys. Thank you. Got the G wagon out. A little bit of the ruts. Not too bad. It's pretty stuck. Hey, where'd you get that shirt? Got it on uh, my uh, merch site on uh, you go to the tow it the on the, my tow truck Dustin page on YouTube. Hit the shopping tab and you can get all my merch on there. Y'all check it out. Get it. Tow truck Dustin. If y'all are ever down south in Texas, Freeport area. Hit up, hooked on tackle. This man right here owns the tackle store, best one around Rosaria County. Your feet wet? Oh, they're good. <laughs> Some tennis shoes. Did you catch a fish? I tried. So I got both my drones in there. I should have put one in the <laughs> Yeah, up in there. Just had a puppy. So you were able to make it back here just fine. It was just that. Not an issue. Yeah. This thing. I slid into that thing. Yeah. My front and rear box popped out. Yeah. I, I don't know if the fingers are bent or if it's. Well, I'm, I'm sure the fluid is. Yeah. Half, half of that jello. Long as the fluid doesn't change. My mom's is kind of been off road until like recently. Ever. So like. <laughs> heard it got him out it's uh his mom's g-wagon so all right guys you good yeah got him got him out we'll get off the beach here now thank y'all Alright, so the G-Wagon's stuck again. We 
trying to come down this little trail here on the edge and I guess he found another soft spot so we are making our way back through this trail see if we can't uh, I'm hoping I can find something like a recovery point on the front to just hook my kinetic rope to him and pull him out but we'll see here in just a second how did he I don't know I see it it was pretty soft pretty hard to hear good my headlights to light out the front end, yeah. Y'all can stay in if y'all want to. Yeah, but yes. I mean, I'm already playing in mud. <laughs> Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay. There's a hook right there. You want to try and turn around? There's quick? a. Uh, let me turn around real quick. There's a water right here. Uh, yeah, you gotta try to stay around. I don't know why I tried falling. He's probably gonna pass this up right here. All right, right there in the water. You know, some of the fishies that you keep. And yeah, you probably find some fish right here. There was some when we came by earlier. Go ahead and hook up the slingshot to him. He's not buried. Give him a little tug. How long is it? Uh, 30 foot slingshot. If y'all don't have one, y'all should really look them up and... If you go to the, uh, the description in my videos, I have a link to their website. We've got slingshot kinetic ropes. We're going to need that. And then you'll need one end of that. Let me see this. Nope. Get a knot. <laughs> Seems like the car's been through some stuff, huh? Yeah. We'll go ahead and get you out, brother. Yeah, pretty much just put it in drive and pretty much leave it, let it idle and I'll do most of the work. I'm just gonna walk up here a little bit. Yeah. You gonna pull them right here to this little yeah, section? Yeah, Alright. Alright, there you go. Yeah.
はいStill got a little bit, so yeah, we're, we're back in. onto the beach up there. Make a uh, let's go, big old horseshoe right here. Yeah, in this next trail here, cut down currently. There you go. Is he still behind us? Yeah, he's, he's behind, behind us. us. We're good now. This is the worst of it's done. The only next big obstacle here is coming over the dunes. He's right behind us now. Trail of sunflowers now. <laughs> That's pretty much the worst of the mud and stuff now. It's just trail and soft sand getting back out of here now. Yeah, we drove a little over an hour to get here. Yeah, it's probably an hour, hour and a half drive just to get onto the beach. Thankfully, he wasn't too far down the beach. He only came down probably four miles of beach. To get to the very, very end of this beach is about 24, 25 miles, I think, something like that. And it takes a while. It takes another, you know, probably hour or so just to get down the beach. He's still making through, I guess. He's, he's, still, he's rolling. You know, he's, he's making his way through. Right up here, we'll make another turn to the left, which is going to take us out. I think we'll just pass the turn. We should have turned right here. Pretty sure that's our turn right there. This wheel's gonna find his own way. <laughs> I guess. Okay, you gonna follow us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, it gets kind of narrow through here. Especially with these wide tires. Yeah, and the, my my Jeep's a lot wider than than uh, most vehicles that come through here. That trail that William took is, it goes down. It's a good solid trail, but this for getting him out, this is really the best way. I want to catch a little bit of speed yeah, for him to come. And we're back on to the beach now. We're out of the trail. Yeah. We're coming down here down towards the hard stuff. We'll wait for William to make his way out. And we'll be heading back towards Lake Jackson. What's up, buddy? Hey, 
thing. Golly. Yeah, that thing's bright. What kind of light bar is that? Fox beam. What? Fox beam. Putting off some heat. It is. It's actually. What's one of them cost? our gear rolled up here get headed off the beach we still have another hour hour and a half to get home we still got work in the morning tonight's my nad off but we're crazy and we think this stuff is fun so here we are so we're uh, headed home we'll be uh, over there see what comes up next thanks for watching guys Check the merch out. Yeah, go check it out.